Hello, my name is Richard. I adopted a 16-year-old boy, Caucasian male. How did a 20-year-old go about doing that? Well, the adoption agency guy is like 27, and he's boning my mother, who is 79. Uh, my name's Chris McMick. Um, I'm 16 years old. I ran away from home, and now I'm stuck with this guy. I can't believe you never had these. <laughs> They're only good. <laughs> Being better than crackers, huh? Yeah. Now first off, you want to get this cracker ready to get some peanut butter spread on it. You're making the biggest mess. Are you going to clean that? I'm not cleaning that. Okay, we're not worrying about who's cleaning what right now. We're just trying to enjoy some peanut butter and crackers. You're making crumbs go everywhere. Alright, and then we got the peanut butter on there. Okay, open up the carriage, because here comes the baby. Open it up. <laughs> it's good. Uh, I keep cleaning this mess up, I'm done. What? I'm gonna clean that up. Okay, so why'd I have to sit back here? If there was ever a truck coming, like a train, and they hit this passenger door, You'd be killed instantly. And I want the best for you. The train hit this back seat, I'd be killed instantly. Yeah, but. If the train hit the car, we'd all be dead. Well, if it hit the back, I would be very surprised because that's never happened. Turn signal. Yay! <laughs> this is fun, isn't it, Chris? to stop and get gas because last time he didn't stop and get gas and he saw a ghost of Regis Philbin. It was sure to point out that he saw a ghost of Regis Philbin because apparently there's a bunch of Regis Philbin ghosts running around here or something. You got a candy bar? Give me one. No, I only have two dollars. Got this lottery ticket though. Waste of a dollar. You got it. I had a chance to win another dollar to get to your candy bar. That's what I was doing. We're gonna go or? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a turn up there. Let's go take it. Turn signal. Woo! <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing? Why are we here? Huh? What's going on? What? Where are we? Huh? I can't hear you. Speak up. What are we doing? What are you? I can't hear you. Speak up. I really hate convertibles. That's totally irresponsible of parents. I would never get a. What if a big wind came up and took the child right out of the baby seat in the back seat? They're like, no. Do you know where it is? What's up? You know where you're going, right? Yeah, I just. I need some time to focus. I need this window down. That's what I can't read them because of that. Robbins, that's not it. Henson, that's not it. Sweeney, that's not it. Unknown. Do you names, know where? Do you know where it. it is? You ever been here before? I have been here once. I was eight, and my dad, my dad, wasn't dead then, and he brought a big chocolate cake, and he, and he said, "This is where I'm going to be buried. So, please come here." If you ever get a kid and bring a chocolate cake, I didn't bring a chocolate cake. I brought a candy bar, but I ate it already. Okay, so. Wait, what was that? Was that it? Shaw? No, that's not it. B.A. Patterson. No, that's not it. Mother. No, that's not what? it. What? What is your last name? Sure, Hef. So if you see 
a last name that says Shurhef. What? Why are you? <laughs> There's nothing funny about a graveyard. So, what is your last name? What? Shurhef. Sure. I've never actually backed down in a car before. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm backing up. <laughs> Why are you backing up? Oh! Shirt left. That's what it was. Not shirt half. What was I thinking? How's the food? <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's a good guy. Yeah, he was a good guy. Well, he uh, was in prison for 33 years for raping and killing a guy, but he got out, and that's when he had me with my mom. Ah, 89 years old and still a strong ass. I mean, a face. That's. I think he kind of knows that I'm lying. He's like a. Like a hound dog. I can sniff liars and dirt and other dogs' butts. Chris, come play on the cannons. There's cannons over here. Come on, I want to stuff you in one of them and shoot you out of it. Bad. Oh, look, a Bloody Mary statue. I remember the stories of when I was a kid, uh, the Bloody Mary stories. Uh, and a bunch of blood fell on her head. I think uh, four guys rigged up a whole thing to where it fell on her head, and that's why they started calling her Bloody Mary. That's not the story. No, it is. Yeah. Yep, a lot of history in this statue right here. They built it a long time ago. All right, well, this was a good graveyard trip. Let's uh, go home. You know, that story you told kind of reminded me of the movie Carrie. What? That story you told? Yeah. It reminded me of the movie Carrie. Harry? I don't, I don't even know what Harry. No, Carrie, the movie? I found my real father's grave. It's right there. His name was Roy. My grandpa named him that because it rhymes with the, the word soy. He thought it was a really funny practical joke. He told all of his grandpa buddies. Yep, that's September 19, 1922. What are we doing? <laughs> What's going on? You alright? So we're just driving home. Why? Oh, are you just waking up? Yeah, you know, we've just been driving home. Been on the road for five hours. Whoa, Chris, what are you doing? What are you doing back there? I've had fun with you. I'm looking at you through the rear view. Tell me what you're gonna do when we get to the stew that I'm gonna cook you tonight so you can eat it. Yum yum, I'm gonna put some potatoes in there, throw some carrots in there, throw some meat in there, probably pork chops, baby, all cut up into three pieces each. Oh, 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 oh. What were you talking about? Blues clues. Turn signal. Oh, that tickles my nose, Chris. <laughs> 